Oh, well, 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 hello, here we are again. Uh, yes, indeed, the Phantom of Haunted Hill. Call me Mike, please. <laughs> Today, we'll be discussing two Japanese gore classics. Starting off with this one, Sexual Parasite. Also known as Killer Pussy. Directed by Takeo Nakano. It says 2005. Uh, let's see here. The description on the back is really not how it is. <laughs> this makes it sound like your typical slasher kids in the woods movie, but that's not at all what it is. <sighs> but, uh,. An expedition, they go in search, I guess, of what they found, which was the, uh, I forgot what it was called, but we'll call it also the Vagina Dentata. <laughs> the uh, sexual parasite puss, killer pussy. <laughs> and uh, as they're looking at it, inside the box they find it in, uh, out of the blue a witch doctor appears. <laughs> And he's warning them and ends up getting into a, a, a little scramble with everyone and he's trying to get the box. And the uh, monster, we'll call it, escapes and enters the woman. So, next scene. Here's our four teenagers cruising until they run out of gas. So they come across this house, it says do not enter, what do they do? They enter, and then they wish they never had. <laughs> and the rest of the film takes place there, not in a car, <laughs> as this one says. But So they're there, they discover there's a nice big bathtub, the one girl goes and She's laying in there, you know, and all of a sudden this strange woman with like a dead-like face but a gorgeous body comes by and gets into the tub with her. And it looks like she's trying to kiss her or something, but she, I guess she's just attacking her. <laughs> and uh, the, the girl uh, ends up, you know, unconscious, floating, and then... Uh, she rises up out of the tub, <laughs> and um, basically uh, one guy starts having sex with her, he's eating her out, you know, and then he says, you know, I think it's ready, and he goes and sticks it in her, and as he's enjoying himself, he's like saying how tingly it feels, and it kind of hurts, and then we get to see an uh, inside view of the woman's vagina. <laughs> and the monster coming right out. <laughs> Needless to say, you know what it gets a hold of. And it got a hold of even more because next scene, uh, we discover his body is completely dismembered, intestines and all. <laughs> so his, their, his friends find, find him and start freaking out. And one thing leads to another and uh, the monster uh, begins to make babies and there's these cute little <laughs> little they remind me of like return of the aliens deadly spawn but kind of more like a, I guess more like a fish type of sperm as, as it was referred to as a fish at the beginning and so you got these cute little things going around and <laughs> killing people <laughs> It ends with the two of the girls uh, fighting. The host girl uh, gets killed by her friend uh, with someone's intestines. She chokes her. And uh, then the, the next scene, she's walking down the street. You know, what a night she's had. This guy comes by in his car, you know, you okay, you know? And she says, I'm, I'm just hungry. Oh, there's a Raymond Noodle stand down the street. Come on, I'll take you. And she goes, I like to eat a lot of things. And then she touches his lap. 
It's more like the monster's beast likes to eat a lot of things. <laughs> so there's tons of the girls in the movie are all beautiful. They're perfection. <laughs> so we get to see them naked, all quite a, quite often. Once they do start getting naked, there's tons of blood, tons of gore. You know how girls wrestle in oil and stuff and mud. They're rolling around like that, but it's with human blood. <laughs> it's really, I like the movie. I think it's great. It's a blast. It's a lot of fun. It's hilarious. And it makes that movie Teeth look like a romper room. <laughs> you can have teeth all you want. I'll stick with Killer Pussy, a.k.a. Sexual Parasite. Next up, a film by Tamakichi Anero, Tumbling Doll of Flesh. I have seen this film a couple times. Each time I have felt so filthy and disgusting for watching it that I, I needed a shower. <laughs> and even, uh, oh God. Anyway, <laughs> this film is extremely disgusting and extremely graphic. And they refer to it as in the vein of like a snuff film. Of course, this is special effects. But uh, it's about this girl. She goes and uh, signs a contract to be in this movie. So the opening of the movie is her and this guy having sex. Well, the guy is having a hard time ejaculating. Okay, well, we'll take a break. The next scene is torture and like S&M type of stuff. She get, He sticks his finger up her ass and she didn't like it very much. <laughs> and she says she wants out of this. She doesn't want to finish the movie. She just wants to go home. You signed this contract. You ain't leaving here until this movie's finished. <laughs> and, uh... So, needless to say, she gets punished for this uh, rebellion, <laughs> and it gets filmed. She gets her bottom part of her, from her knee down to the, you know, her foot chopped right off. Of course, graphically shown as if it's really happening. <laughs> you, know, you know, those Jap, those silly Japanese, you know. <laughs> And uh, she gets her tongue snipped and cut. And so she's a wreck. And he goes and, you know, cuts her body cavity open. And, and he tells the guy that was having sex with her, uh, you know, come over here. You know, I want you to fuck her. And she's, she's like this close to death. And she's mutilated and just destroyed, you know. <laughs> And this guy, he doesn't want that to happen to him, I guess. He needs that paycheck and his life. <laughs> so he does what the director says. Uh, you know, don't, he, want, he wants him to, to stick his dick in the sp split in her body cavity. <laughs> and he does, and he has an orgasm. He couldn't do it with her vagina, but her open uh, body cavity, no problem. And it fucks him up. It fucks him up big time mentally. It's great acting on that, that guy's part. It's great acting on everybody's part. <laughs> and uh, I'll let you guys, uh, if you can, catch the, uh, the film yourself. And I don't want to always give every single thing away. So, yes. Tumbling Dow of Flesh. I highly recommend a bar of soap <laughs> and a washcloth. And that might not even help clean you off after this ditty. <laughs> so yes indeed. So there you go man. Thanks uh, for checking this out. Subscribe to the channel. I'd like to get this thing going. Tell your friends. Tell everyone. Uh, give this video a like and subscribe. And uh, 
I'm still looking for a theme song. I mean, it, if anyone out there can help me, can help the old Phantom <laughs> get a theme song. It doesn't have to be long, you know, 15 seconds, you know. And I don't know. I play drums. I don't have any here. I have a shitty guitar I got from the garbage. I don't know how to play guitar, but I got it anyway because I can play one string and give the guitar player an idea of a riff I had. But that's about it. <laughs> I need your help. Please. All right, we'll see you guys next video.